Okay, everybody, I'm making this... Let's try that again. Hi, everybody. I'm making a little addendum here to correct a mistake that I made on the video that I posted earlier today on laying out easements on your model railroad track. Uh, made a mistake in the mathematical formula that I want to correct. Uh, this wouldn't be a catastrophic mistake. In fact, if anything, it would make your easements too big and maybe more gentle than you need them to be, uh, but also would take more space. So what, what I want you to understand is this. Uh, here I have laid out, this is not perfectly to scale, but you get the idea. I've laid out a curve with the tangent, uh, the circle curve. You see the dotted line for the easement. What I told you in my video is that your easement length uh, from the point at which your fixed radius curve would start to the point where you want to start your easement both on the tangent side and on the uh, curve side would be 60 percent of your radius okay. that that was a mistake that was a mistake I misspoke there uh, in fact what that should be is your entire length of your easement should be 60 percent of your radius so in other words the amount that you measure from the point at which your continuous radius curve would begin to where you want to begin your easement and to where you want to end your easement on the curve side that total length should be 60 percent of the radius or the, the or the distance that you measure from this reference point to where you begin and to where you end should be one half of that easement length. So here's the formula. Uh, the offset, O is for the offset, that's the amount that you're offsetting this curve, uh, is 1 64th of the radius, or R over 64, and your entire easement length should be 60% of your radius, or 0.6 R, and then the distance that you measure from this reference point to where you begin and to where you end uh, should be that easement distance, E, over 2. Or you could say it like this. This easement length that you're going to measure would be 0.6 R over 2, divided by 2. Uh, so I just wanted to correct that. Um, that will give you a very adequate easement. Uh, it will take less space than you would have with the way that uh, I had told you. If you did exactly what I told you, you would have a very beautiful, smooth, gradual easement, uh, but probably a little more than you needed. So this is uh, probably a better formula for you to remember, and I uh, hope that that helps. So I'm sorry for that mistake, and hope I didn't cause too much confusion there.